Hi, I'm Matt Bum, and welcome back to the Bond Movies presentation of Skyrim. Okay, here we are with Nelov, who's rather eager for us to read this black book. But he can wait a few more seconds, as you can see, he's very eager. But we're with an ego, Freya and Vilia, as usual. We have no fan or glowy with us at the moment. And uh, we've just freed this book from its glass cage by activating some steam pumps which then um, activated this crystal and then opened up the uh, glass Aren't you going to read it? cage that the I book was in. The whole reason you dragged me. And we're going to read this book to see where it takes us and what it does. So let's get on with it then. Read the black book. Okay, I had a oh, good. feeling say hello to her mayor for me. it was going to transport us somewhere. But are we going to see Mirak again? And okay, otherwise well, started them, but it was just so, auto saving. Another seeker after knowledge enters my realm. It's a big frog eye. This is apocrypha, where all knowledge is hoarded. Apocrypha. Yeah. Perhaps. You will be clever enough to uncover the secrets hidden here. If so, welcome. I'm not too sure Turgon will be clever enough, but we shall try. You are a fool or a coward. If so, you are in peril. Need your book again and escape before Apocrypha claims you forever. Now I think we're up for the challenge there, Mr. Frogspawn Eye Tentacle Person. Okay. We're going to learn the hidden knowledge of the Epistolary Acumen. Which was that book, I presume. Okay, I wonder if my followers are clever enough to read the book and follow me. We shall see. Um... Okay, we've got to touch lots of weird looking things by the looks of it. Do we have to, really? Can I not just go for a swim in this really delicious looking treacle? Hmm, maybe not. Okay, let's touch this tentacle thing. It's quite phallic, really. Okay, it has opened the tongue. You know, there's some sort of weird tunnel thing that's moving and some flattened pages which is quite cool really hmm. okay so these walls are made up of scrolls and books by the looks of it I wonder if those um, tentacles are dangerous whoa he says almost getting bewhipped by one looks like we've got to jump off before it swings back around there um, somehow. Aha! Okay, off we get. Push this tentacle thing. They're trying to whip me. I didn't even notice they were trying to whip me. How dare they try and whip me. Cool, they really are quite eager, aren't they? Billy might enjoy that. Or an ego. Anyway, enough of that. Let's jump back on. You miss me. You miss me lots and lots of times. Oh, look, there's that weird carving up there. So the tongue should now have opened here. Then we can jump off. And another book. Oh, how fantastic. So this is chapter two of the funky looking book. That's quite cool, actually. Okay, cool. That is pretty cool, I must admit. Okay, sorry about that. My um, Skyrim decided to minimise for some reason. So I had to maximise it again. Um, and I'm conjuring things at the moment. I don't know why I'm conjuring things. Let's activate this tentacle squire. Ah, oh, that is cool. 
I think we have a bit of a ruck now. Do we want to use... Oh, you appeared out of nowhere. Oh, how tough are you exactly? You don't appear to be that tough. Oh, it looks like some of them are conjured, so when we kill the master, they will fall. And I really should be trying to get away from these things. Oh, they're quite hard. Right. Might have to get out the bow oh, and arrow, methinks. Yes. Looking like a ranged attack is better. Oh, is that the master one over there? Yes, it was. Okay, and now the lurker. Looks like a bit of a fish man, doesn't he? An amphibian man of fish faces. So what's all the fish about then, exactly? And I think that uh, frog-eyed thing was Hermeris Mora, if that's how you pronounce his name. kind of a very fishy sort of theme going on here. Okay, this is pretty easy when you're quite far away, this lurker. Just stand here, shooting arrows at it. But you know what? Let's finish it off with the sword. Look at that. Look at that. You were quite easy. The others were quite hard when we were up close and personal. Necklace of Hell. Is that it? Okay, so we have a book. We have some other things over here. Let's have a look at these other things. Oh, that's what we activated already, wasn't it? The scryer. We've got another scryer there. What's this? Is this like some sort of fish egg chest? A pod. Yes, it's a chest. Dream of Southern Guard that we've read. Glass Mace. Invocation of Azura. Okay. We shall take it. A uh, potion of plentiful stamina, septims, and something else that we've read. Fine. We need to read that book. But there's something over there as well that this probably opens. Yep. And there's another book up there. So which book do we read first? There's another pod chest. Another book we haven't read. There's quite a few books we haven't read here by the looks of it. Uh, Dwarves Volume 1. Oh, there is one I'm interested in. Okay. Waters of Oblivion. That had quite a good cover to it. That's quite awesome. Waters of Oblivion. Does that look good on the bookcase back at home? Okay, so maybe we don't read that book first. We'll read this one over here first. Ah, oh, that takes us back to chapter one, mother. It's a bit, so we won't go there. And we missed something here. A couple of soul gems. Right, so this one should take us to chapter three. Good. Chapter three it is. Okay, something tells me this isn't as quiet as it appears to be. So, nope, there's a seeker over there. She didn't see me, so she better get some sneak shots off. Gotcha. Any more that we can see from here? Let's do a bit of sneaking. Did I miss anything there? No. There's sort of um, gothic fish book theme going on here. Is that some indication of how bad Mirak smells, do you think? Oh, we didn't check the loot on those seekers, did we? Oh well. Another book. Oh, they had Daedra Hearts. Oh, a Conjure Shelter scroll. I really like those, they're cool. Rally spell time, awesome, and the posting of the hunt. 
Okay, it might be worth us going back and checking out that other seeker that we left. Does this actually do anything? Ah! That water stings. It's not water, it's acid sort of goo stuff. I'm going to go back to chapter 2. Ah. No, I'm not. I'm going to kill this seeker. I can hear something behind me. Gotcha. Right, let's loot this. There is something behind me, isn't there? No? I could hear something. Could definitely hear something. Arcana restored. Favorite heart. Scroll of heat. Ethos. Ethos? Grimoire. Okay. Creates a hovering spell tome of the spell in your left hand. It repeatedly casts the spell in the direction you're facing for 30 seconds. And the dragon break. Oh, that looks quite cool. Cover. Okay. Fine. Right. Um, yes, as I said. Back to chapter 2, just to make sure we didn't miss anything good off of those Seekers, if they're still there. Seeker corpses, that is. Yes, they're still there, good. Daedra Heart, yeah, they're worth quite a bit. And we've got a couple of books. So I want to read all the books and get as many as we can. Scroll of Control Weather. Temporarily summon the weather of your choice. That's quite cool. Treatise on Elidic Cities, or Elidic Cities, Elidic Cities. Okay, fine. Scroll of Harmony. Souls black and white. The Red Book of Riddles. What's in the yellow book of riddles before? Kind of rings a bell. Okay, back to chapter three. Remember to loot the seekers. Right, and then up here, there's probably more seekers or lurkers lurking and seeking. Maybe not in that particular order. Or maybe there isn't. Maybe we're just going to go all the way to the top. And be unhindered. Something definitely moving there. Maybe it's in front of us, yes it is, okay. The tentacle gonna come out here and smack me. So my followers followers uh, so, excuse me, my followers didn't follow me. I've actually still got a bit of a cold, so I've got a bit of a tickly cough that's affecting my voice from time to time as well. Sorry, out of character. So, um, I'm trying not to cough, but trying not to cough is having the effect of uh, changing the pitch of my voice from every now and then. So, apologies for that. But it might make this some amusing commentary. Anyway, back to character. A tentacle knob. This is very trippy. Scoom induced trips. Whoa! Gotcha. Um, yes, I thought so. Die. Okay, let's um, loot this one. Save your heart. I'm not going to pick up the ones we've already read. Oh, I wanted to use that scroll, but hey ho. I mean the spell time. Let's go and use that now so we've got the spell. Use, use, use. I didn't have mage light. Okay. Fine, I didn't have mage light. Thought I did. Thought it was um, something I got very early on. Apparently not. Okay. Uh, hello. How are you doing? You can die now. Oh, I like that on them. 
you're pretty easy, aren't you? You've quite a lot of health, but you don't really hurt me if you stay that far away. And you're on the ground. Shall I finish you up with the sword? Oh, I'll let you bleed out. There you go. Okay. Bow and arrow because of the Seekers. This is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Right. Um. Ah. What does that thing do? Ah, oh, stamina. Ah, oh, so the blue ones do what? Magicka? And that looks like a book pedestal, but there's no book on it. You really are adamant that you're going to whip me, aren't you? You're not going to whip me, though. I'm going to avoid you. Okay, my seeker sense is tingling. I have to look for that smoke there, over there. Before he turns around, get in some sneak shots. Can I see any more smoke? No, I can actually see one all the way over there. Right. Two over there, actually. Three. Okay, is that the master? I missed him. Getcha. Didn't kill him. Oh, well. Did that time. Right, there should be a couple of seekers to loot over there. As it does descent. Death of a Wanderer. You know, I really am going to have to read some of these books. Preferably when um, Turgon hasn't got a cold. Yes, they are desperate to whip me, the Guardian and the Traitor. Scroll of Battletide, the Dragon Lore. I do like these book covers. Okay, what's this? Chapter 4? Chapter 4. That's quite cool. With the books and the banners. Okay, what it lies in wait in chapter four. Is that like a pod chest thing? A vessel. Ah. Chorus pie, a recipe. I don't know whether I want to read that actually. I don't know how nice Chorus pie would be. But I bounce an ego would like it. Mystery of Princess Talara, part five. That Chunax, Chunax, fire and faith. Scroll of Cat spell, detonate lock, flames of oblivion, Rhinos's fins. Bound sword. Oh, I've already read it. Wild elves. Okay. And soul gems. I will be using black soul gems because the souls of some of these murderous bandits and reavers and things, I've got no issue with using their souls at all because they're black souls. They're evil souls. They deserve to be damned in oblivion. And that is absolutely awesome. That is really, really cool. I'm presuming up there is Hermaeus Mora. Yes, I must admit that is good. But we're at the end, because that looks different. The Epistolary Acumen. Bit of a mouthful, that. Epistolary. This is awesome. What's this? There's Hermaeus Mora. All oh, seekers of knowledge, come to me sooner. Or later. Really? But you're just like a lot of frog spawn. Um, frog spawn's not an option. Okay, who are you? I 
and her mayor, Smora, the kind of men, new of the unknown, master of fate. You stand in my realm, mortal. Okay. What do you want of me? You have entered my realm. You have sought out the forbidden knowledge that only one other has obtained. Okay, that'll be Mirak then, yes? You are dragonborn. Like Mirak before you. There you go. A seeker of knowledge and power. No, I am actually the only Dragonborn Hermaeus Mora. He is an imposter. Um. Oh, okay, I'm not going to lie. I did come here to learn Mirak's secrets. All that he knows, he learns from me. What's that? How to hop and rip it loudly? To use your power as Dragonborn, to bend the world to your will. Okay, so it's talking about bend will. Uh, here then, is the knowledge you need, although <laughs> you did not know you needed it. No, I didn't. The second word ah, awesome. of power is to bend the wills of mortals to your purpose. So is that how Mira controls dragons? He's got the but third this word. Is not enough. Mira yeah. knows the final word of power. That's how he controls dragons. Without that, you cannot hope to surpass him. Mira served me well. And he was rewarded. I can grant you the same power as he wields, but all knowledge has its price. Right, so what do you want exactly? Um. I think I know why I need this word of power, because he controls dragons, and they're pretty damn awesome. So what's your price for the final word of power then? don't really want to say this. Knowledge. For knowledge. Oh, okay. The um, scar have withheld the secrets from me for many long years. The scar? The time has come. For this knowledge to be added to my library. Right, what do you want to know from the skull? I'll talk to them. No, I don't know. What, what if the skull refused to give up their secrets? My servant, Mirak would have found a way to bring me what I want. It probably likes frogs. So will you, if you wish to surpass him. Well, I don't know, I've never eaten a frog. Send the skull semen to me. He holds the secrets that will be mine. Look, I'll talk to Storm. It's up to him. He's got his own free will. I'm not going to force... Oh, you're going to go. Okay, I haven't finished talking to you. Probably gone to hop off somewhere. Okay, what's going on here? That's cool. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. Um, Dragonborn Force. Dragonborn Flame. Dragonborn Frost. That's unrelenting force, isn't it? I can't turn that down, can I? Dragonborn Force, unrelenting force, shout, does more damage and may disintegrate enemies. Awesome! You may accept one ability from this book at any time. At a time. Well, that's a no-brainer, isn't it? It's got to be. It's got to be that. Superb. Do I get anything else? No? 
Alright, fine. To Souls time! I think. Yep, yeah, let's go back to Souls time. Let's see what Nenith has to say. It's a very weird transitioning through these books. Okay. What did you say? Different people have very different experiences oh, Freya, when reading these books. What's she run off to? Okay, so... Okay, I talked to Hermaeus Mora, but you knew I was going to see you, Mora, so probably no surprise to you. You're still acting surprisingly sane, too. What did she have to say? He must have wanted something from you. He wanted to know why I looked so good looking and if he could find if I could find him a princess to give him a kiss to turn him into a prince, seeing that he is a frog. But he told me that in confidence, so I shouldn't really tell you, Neloth, so keep it a secret. And he also wants the secrets of the skull in exchange for teaching me the third word. Bah, what secrets could they have worth keeping from old Mora? Sounds like a bargain to me. Hermaeus Mora learns some fascinating new ways to skin a hawker, and <laughs> you become the second most powerful dragonborn that ever lived. Yep, yeah, sounds good to me. That gives me a lot to think about. We need to get back to Talmithra. I have some ideas about how to locate more of these black books. I don't really want to go back there, but if I go there and every time I get awesome upgrades to my dragonborn powers... Hmm. That does sound like a good idea to me. Now, guys, did... Are you always taking your clothes off? Uh, did Freya tell you where she was going? No? Okay, well, she's probably gone back to the village. You can have a look later if you wish. Okay, you weren't listening to me. Alright, carry on daydreaming. Yeah, that was a very quick change there, Vilia. Very quick. Well done. Are you magician, Vilia? Now I'm going to turn around and turn back again. And you're going to turn into Sophia, aren't you? Don't turn into Sophia, and you go, please. Right. Let's go uh, to see Storm, I guess. That's probably where Freya's gone. We'll go and see them. We'll go and talk to them. We'll try and um, goad them into giving their secrets to Hermaeus Mora whilst still keeping Storm alive. That's probably a good thing. Freya will probably be quite unhappy if um, he was to perish, seeing as she lost her mum. And we're going to have to do that a little bit later on. Oh.